God, we give you thanks for this night and for those who are able to join us uh, on this study and on this call. We lift up uh, Bede and just as she has prepared in, in her preparation and in her uh, sharing with what she has been inspired by this message, we ask that you would bless it and that we would receive it, that it would inspire us to live more like your son, for it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Hello, guys. Um, so just kind of, I guess y'all probably guess um, we're going to be focusing on encouragement this week. Uh, so just kind of want to go a little bit back to what we talked about last week. So can anybody um, just kind of help uh, me uh, or remind me and maybe some of our friends that weren't here last week uh, just kind of summarize or help me summarize or anything that stood out from last week. Commit prayer. Awesome. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, prayer. So we, we focused on, on prayer, what it looks like to be uh, a community in prayer, right? Uh, so something that really uh, stood out to me was, um, you know, something that Stephen mentioned was this whole idea of relationships being uh, rooted in prayer and how Paul was willing to share his heart and be vulnerable. And so, um, I mean, it had me thinking a little bit about how uh, even some of like my closest relationships with people, um, like my friends, my family, uh, mentors, uh, these are, you know, like really close people to me. And what made us really close was this idea of being vulnerable uh, to, to them. Um, and even if it's not me, it's usually the other person, but usually, uh, you know, these really strong relationships uh, usually it kind of involves one person or the other kind of being in this state of uh, vulnerability. Um, and so uh, that was something I, I definitely loved and picked up on uh, last week. And so, um, you know, this week we're kind of continuing off of uh, the topic of what it means to be in community um, and obviously kind of uh, focusing now in what it means to be in a community of encouragement. And so um, right now, uh, we're going to take some time of reflection, and I want you guys to think about, um, you can write it down, you can think about it, uh, whatever way you like to reflect, um, and just kind of think about maybe a time someone uh, said something uh, that might have hurt us, uh, said something harsh, um, that maybe it's one of those things that, like, you remember, like, word by word, uh, but we'll have a little, like, minute or two um, of reflection. So I want you guys to kind of think about uh, about a, a situation or a time you felt like you've been hurt by someone's words. Um, maybe some of us, this is a very, um, one of those very common rhymes or phrases that we've heard, um, but sticks and stones may break my bones, but, bone, but words will never hurt me. Have you guys heard of that one? Like one of those classic sayings, we've heard it many, many times, um, but, I, but I mean, if we think about those words uh, that have been spoken to you, um, those, I mean, a lot of those do sting and they do hurt. Um, they hurt and they can stay with us uh, sometimes for days, uh, for weeks, for years. Um, and it's unfortunately one of those like sad realities. Uh, many people still kind of carry with them um, carry those words with them um, since there were itty bitties to adults or just you know obviously words uh, hurt people um, words that the person who said uh, themselves that might have hurt us they probably don't even remember saying them um, but somehow those those things stick with us um, so our words to one another um, clearly do matter uh, more than, than we, I think, think about. Um, so now um, we're going to do the opposite. So I want you guys to think about a time uh, when you felt really encouraged. Um, and I want you to, to think about that person, uh, how they made you feel. Uh, just kind of reflect on that. So again, you can write that down. You can think about it. Uh, but we'll take a minute or so uh, to think about that. Um, you know, of course, uh, maybe someone said something to us that might have stuck with us, kind of 
the same idea where, you know, words clearly have uh, an impact on this, uh, just as they do negatively, um, they can do so um, in a very positive way as well. Um, and so uh, when we go to our small groups later on, um, that's something we can definitely continue off, off of. And so uh, just have that in mind um, as we transition into our small groups later on. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read a first De Thessalonians, sorry, it's kind of hard, hard word to say. <laughs> De Thessalonians 5 uh, verse 11. So it says, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. So we rarely uh, realize that our words uh, really do make a difference, uh, both for good and for bad. And God knows this. Paul was an apostle of Jesus who spent his adult life encouraging Christians. And so he wrote letters uh, to the churches saying things uh, like in Philippians first, uh, three through 11. Yeah, three through 11. And so I'm going to go ahead and read that as well. And so it says, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he would he who began a good work in you will carry it, carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer that your love may abound me more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. So how do you, uh, how do you guys think Paul's words made uh, the Christians feel the, uh, the Christians in Philippi feel. So if you were to hear, um, you know, this last few verses from Philipp Philippians, uh, how, how would you feel? You know, thinking of it as, you know, words of encouragement, you know, I'd feel pretty encouraged. Um, and I'm sure they did. Uh, he mentions how thankful he is for them. He prays for them, uh, which is pretty encouraging, right? So God made us for community and way too often we kind of forget to encourage and lift one another up. And so we forget to tell each other uh, the ways, um, um, we forget to tell each other that we truly thank God for each other, right? And the way Paul thanked God for, for these people is, is pretty cool. And there's something uh, really powerful that happens when we say, uh, or write words with the purpose of encouraging one another. And so, you know, don't just assume that others know uh, how you feel, but, you know, it's important that we do let them know. Uh, we let them know, you know, how much they mean to us, uh, how much they impact our lives, but also just, you know, letting them know, like, these are your gifts, these are your talents, and I see them and I value them and, you know, just encouraging them. And so, you know, kind of, as our scripture said, do this as the day draws near, uh, which is kind of a way of saying that we never know how much time we, you know, have to encourage one another and bless one another. And so it's super important uh, to do that. And so I want you guys to kind of keep in mind uh, what ways we can encourage those around us. Uh, we know the impact, um, kind of like we mentioned a little bit earlier, the impact that words have on us. Um, but in a time like this, where we may not get to always physically be present uh, for one another, um, kind of what does it look like to encourage others, right? So we use our words, uh, or like we saw here in, in this um, verse too, in these verses, um, we, we see how uh, we can pray for them as well. But there's like so many other forms 
uh, to encourage others and to encourage the, the people around us, to encourage our community. Um, and so I just, you know, encourage you guys uh, to take today uh, to continue this encouragement um, and to be a community of encouragement. 